Hello drummers and other humans, it's me Joe again and I'm back with another video in my what's turning out to be a reasonably lengthy series about the Texas shuffle or the two-handed shuffle or whatever you should call it when you play the shuffle on the snare drum and various things on your ride cymbal. It's a good groove to know anyway, whatever it's called. Anywho, in my previous videos I explained how to play this groove with the ride playing a shuffle, a swing pattern and quarter notes as well. Something like this just to recap. In today's video, I'm going to show you a couple of snare drum variations that involve removing the one and the three from the shuffle pattern. So instead of doing this, one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, I'm just going to do this, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and in the parlance of the level system that I've mentioned in other videos we're going to play this up down tap 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 and so on and so on you may think it's easy to subtract something from a pattern but when you've got used to doing something, even making a small change can be quite tricky at times. If you can just play this straight away, having got used to the original shuffle pattern I explained, then good for you, but some people might find it quite challenging and you have to really concentrate and get your hand used to playing the pattern with the gap in it. Don't worry if that's the case, uh, things take time. As I demonstrated in my other videos, we're gonna start working on this hands only. And the reason I'm going over this uh, over and over again is A, in case you haven't watched the other videos, and B, just to really emphasize how the procedures working with these things can really help you learn something efficiently. I'm going to play the shuffle on the ride and our new snare drum pattern omitting the one and three, like this. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and one and two and three and four and one and two Once you're comfortable playing the pattern with your hands, you can add your feet. I'm going to add my left foot first this time, playing the hi-hat on the two and four, and then I'm going to be playing the bass drum on one, two, three, four. Sounds something like this. Bass. That was the first snare drum variation with Shuffle on the Ride. If you play the ride with quarter notes, I'm pretty sure that's the same groove that Frank Beard plays on Lagrange, which is really cool. It has this kind of tumbling down the hill feel to it. It goes something like this. Maybe a bit faster. I don't know, I, I forgot to check it before I made this video, but the, uh, the amazing Bonzolium has a video about it and he goes uh, into the subject in some depth. I'll link to it somewhere. The second snare variation is only slightly different. We're going to play the same pattern, but we're going to buzz the last note of the group of three. So that means the two and and the four and, like this. One and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and 
one and two and three and four and and that again I believe is a sort of favorite of Chris Layton's he goes into it in some detail in his video about shuffle playing and it goes a bit like this That's that for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Practice these snare drum variations with the three hand patterns that I showed you. And in the next couple of videos, I'm going to look at what we can do with our feet to make the grooves interesting as well. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, comment and subscribe. Uh, I'm especially interested in hearing whether you found this interesting slash useful slash entertaining. I don't know what. And um, if you have any suggestions for future videos, I'd love to hear them. Now go away and practice.